Good morning, my love. Good morning. How's the <laughs> lighting? How, how are we feeling, feeling about our lighting today? Oh my God, I think you look beautiful. As well. <laughs> you too. I'm just saying hilarious. How are beautiful you? As always. Okay, so our conversation today is about what it means to be number one on the call sheet and then our relationship as showrunner and actress, which I think we have, I think we have a unique relationship. But let's start with what it means, because this is, is this the first time you've been number one on the call sheet? Yes. Yes. And what does that mean to you? What does that mean to you? Like, was it even something you thought about when you were on other shows? Were you thinking like, when I'm number one, this is what I would do? Or I want to hear all about that. Sure. I think every actor thinks about when they're number one. I mean, that's just what actors do. You know, they don't go, oh, I want to be the co-star. They're, you know, <laughs> <laughs> unless unless the, the part of the co-star is amazing and better than the, you know, sometimes that happens. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think that one of the things that I would, I would observe how everybody would act. And uh, one of the things I would always say is when I am number one on the call sheet, if I'm ever, if I'm ever, you know, blessed enough to be number one on the call sheet, I'm going to make sure that everybody feels important and everybody feels like they have something to say. And, and it's not just about me. Uh, of course, it's 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 a weird thing that that you uh to balance you know what i mean because you want to you have you are number one so you you have to set the tone and you want everybody to feel fabulous and you want everybody to feel empowered and you want everybody to feel like they have a say but then as number one you also have to have the last say in the cast do well, you know you, what i mean you have different needs you have different, different needs, needs because yes especially on our show, you're pretty much in every scene. Exactly. So there's different, so, but, but that was my biggest thing. It's like, I wanted cause I've been on shows before where it was all about the number one. It was all about them. Everybody else screw them. Who cares? Nobody cared. You know, it's like, what do you want to do? What do you, and, and it was weird and people were mad and then they would talk about, you know, the person right. and there was all this, all this gossip on set and, and one of the things that I just really wanted it to feel like everybody felt empowered and powerful. Cause to me, that's, a best that's where the show uh where shows are great that's why shows like friends and all of those shows were so great because it's an ensemble show and sometimes people forget that and it's like they circle the show just around number one and you can do that in the beginning because you have to establish your character but then it gets really boring i mean people want to see like so i wanted everybody to be on a show that had uh, great storylines and, and uh, things that people could relate to and uh, yeah, I just wanted everybody to feel important. I really wanted it to be a real ensemble whenever I was number one. Great, I, it's so interesting because I feel like we have a parallel journey, which we've talked about before, because your, your first time being number one and me, my first time show running and us being on up in other shows where we were seeing other people be the leader and yeah. then knowing like, cause same, right? Same, on every show I was like, if I was a showrunner, yeah. right? So, <laughs> Right, so it's like you do, you, of course, of yeah. course you dream about the day it gets to be you. And, and I had the same goals, the same things you listed, like it being a collaboration, making everyone feel valued, like uh, all of those things were this, are the same. That's how, that's yeah. how I feel too. And, and certainly um, it's something that I cherish so much about my relationship with all of the actors on the show, but especially you, because it's a, it's a collaboration, it's a conversation. Absolutely, always. And the, in fact, our, our show is so unique in that we actually, I was thinking about that this, this morning. Uh, it's like a real family. There is no show business in our show. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, it's all personal. It really, really is. Oh, yeah. And it's like, it, but I love it because there, sometimes when you're on a show, you do something that will piss off a producer, that'll piss off an executive. And sometimes there's no dialogue and then it all goes, it all goes left, right? It all goes, it's all messed up because then they have a thing against you. You have a thing against them. It becomes this thing. But on our show, whenever there is that kind of issue, every, you know, sister. nobody shies away. <laughs> we are like, like sister. What are you doing? Yeah. No way. I mean, I know. Yeah. Right. Like, you, what the hell's going, yeah, what exactly. going on? But I think that's what it's supposed to be like. Cause I hate the, this is the only thing I don't like about there's, I, I don't think anybody should be mean to one another, but I also think people should be honest. You should, you should be able to be honest. And sometimes that's really hard to do, especially when you're a woman. 
and maybe you have a male showrunner or somebody who's who's you know a little short-sighted it comes off as aggressive you know um, i mean i know this is we've said this a million times but for some reason we have to keep saying it <laughs> when it's a woman it's just a lot, lot harder. The, the interesting thing is like our most important thing uh, for you and I and Mike and everybody is the show. That's, well, that's the truth. And that's, that's, the thing, that's the thing that I love about your notes in particular is that it is all, we are all passionate in the service of the show. Absolutely. We're all passionate in the service. I don't, I actually feel like, I don't think it's ever really about us so much as it is about how much we, I mean, it's about us in, in so much that it's, this show in particular, I think is so personal Yeah, for all of us because we put so much, everybody puts so much of their Latinidad and their womanness and their, you know, into it. So it's kind of great to get emotional about it because it means we care about it. Yeah, but it's great that you can get emotional about that's it. Right. That, that's, I guess that was my long winded point. <laughs> That you can very get, well said. I thought thank it was very you. Well said. That you can get emotional about it. I remember once, and I'm just gonna say this. I was having an I was having a situation with a show that I was on, and uh, I had to go into a meeting with five white men, and one of the things that somebody told me was, "Do not get emotional." because they're not gonna be able to handle your emotion. They're gonna take it as anger. And do you know that that's exactly what it, what it was taken off at? When I got like, no, I, you know, this is, I don't, this is not what it was. And, and then all of a sudden I was the angry woman. And I was like, but how do you take emotion out? <laughs> I mean, everything we do is about that. So yeah. uh, that's one thing that I really appreciate about this. It's like it, the emotions fly everywhere, everywhere. in this situation. Everywhere, I know. I, so it, it really is chemistry, right? It's always chemistry. It's always. So, it's so much about that. And, and it's the same when you're working with people very intimately, which we yes. do. That some We're people family. you have chemistry with and some people you don't, and that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Let's talk about us, Machado. <laughs> <laughs> so special. What makes you us know, so special? Let's, okay, let's talk about us. Let's talk. Well, first of all, I'm very, very, very saddened that you will not be with us if we are, uh, oh my God, I might cry. <laughs> if we are, um, if we are lucky enough to get a fifth season, I'm very sad <laughs> because this has been our journey together. You know, um, kind of realizing our number one dreams together. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, not being able to finish the season because of what's happening and not being able to celebrate all of that is, is really uh, hard. And I'm just gonna really miss our collaboration. Same, same, my friend. Yes. Same, it's <laughs> a pleasure, I know. But it's this is pleasure. not the end. This no, is not, the it's end. not the end. Yeah, so for, the, for, the, for those of you that don't know when one day at a time was canceled. I, I signed with Amazon for a three year deal and then the show got picked up. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, so Amazon, um, you know, understood and they allowed, you know, they allowed me to finish this season, which we would have shot our final episode on, on May 12th for yeah. this season. And I was supposed to direct three episodes and Justina was about to direct. <laughs> We were literally prepping for Justina to have her directorial debut for yeah. a beautiful episode that I can't wait for people to see. And it is just that closure that like, as we are trying to be change makers and make stuff and then make more stuff, you know, as I try to realize my dream of Shonda and having many shows with Latina leads and um, it's, it's setting things, this year was about setting things up to, to move on without me on the day to day. I've, I've gained a sister, I've gained a family, I, I, which never, which will, which will never end. Yes. And I also feel very confident we'll all work together again on other things. But yeah, it's been, it's been pretty special, this one. This it's been, special. it was the most special experience. And there's one question that we didn't get to. And um, since we, we gotta go, uh, there's uh, when you said, what does the number one, what are the three things that a number one should do? And I was thinking about it and I thought, you know, what the, should they have? Um, integrity, strength, and an open mind. 
Hmm. I love that. To, to be a part of something also that highlights the, t the quality of actor that everyone in this group is, but you as the lead, it, it, it just is, it's so uh, fulfilling. It's so fulfilling to put forth somebody that can do all of the things that you can do, which not a lot of people can do and make it look very easy. And it's okay. not. Oh, so, this is a love. Yeah. We did it. Yeah, we did it. I love you. I love you too, my darling.